Hello everyone, today I'll show how I make setups for direct memory shape aligners, um, the Graphic brand, what are the key differences between setups for convention conventional aligners and setups for direct aligners made of graphy resin. So let's start and we're gonna start with uh, changing the center of rotation go to change local origo and for conventional liners we used to use we used to set the center of rotation in the middle of the root as it's shown here but for graphy liners we're gonna shift it more to the crown I set it for 100%, uh, like the center rotation root and 100%, uh, so that the movements are going to be less, trans uh, less, with less tipping and with more translation. So I press apply to all. And let's do some other minor adjustments. We're going to check if everything is correct. Uh, I make some minor adjustments after my technicians. So since I'm going to just expand the posterior teeth, I ignore the roots and I set the virtual root perpendicular to the occlusal plane. But for incisors, for canines, we for sure we don't ignore the anatomy and we set the uh, virtual root uh, in the middle of the actual root. So I'm going to do the same for the lower jaw. First of all, we change the center rotation to 100%. Apply to all. So with graphy liners, with the direct liners, we can uh, maintain the same thickness of a liner in every part of it, uh, in every area. We can even make the liner thicker in the uh, gingival part so that it can be like 0 0.6 millimeters in the gingival part and uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 uh, uh, in the incisal edge part so that we can do more bodily movements, more translational movement, less tipping movements. And this expand our, you know, quantity of cases we can treat with the liners, expand our horizons. So here we also have to check if everything is correct. I, I recommend to shift this red dot to the middle of the crown. All good. And we proceed to the virtual setup. Okay, let's start with the lower arch.
as you can see when we tip the tooth it's like half tipping half translation which is much better comparing to conventional liners so with conventional liners we have to tip it even more and we can get those fenestrations with graphy we don't need to tip that much the bone is quite thin here so we have to be careful let's make some oh let's make some minor expansion well distribute the space more evenly Okay, all good. Now let's go to the upper jaw and do the same. A minor expansion. Reclining and rotating the sizers. Ah, I did it wrong, I think. Somehow the center rotation is in the middle of the ground here. This is strange. Guess we have to adjust it manually. Let's go back to the change local origo step. Somehow it's not in the root. Let's shift it more to the apical part. We're checking it here in the uh, la on the left top of the screen. Mm -hmm. For insiders, it's the same. I try to set it uh, somewhere near the gingival beneath. So depending on the model, depending on the scan, on the anatomy, sometimes we have to adjust everything manually. And let's check it for the lower arch. I think it should be better. But let's see. Mm -hmm. I would also shift it a little bit here. And here is fine, fine, fine. Occasionally we had to shift it only for the second molars okay and we didn't even touch them on a setup but for the upper arch we should uh, remove our previous movements 
and do them again with improved central rotation. Okay, looks, looks good. Uh, we have to distribute the space more evenly as usual. So then the IPR can be done with less damage. Okay, let's keep all the teeth inside the bone. It's always crucial for us. And I think we can proceed with a second layer here and there. And we recline the teeth backwards, finalizing the rotations. Closing the spaces. Mm -hmm. I don't like what I see here, so we should keep the axis this way and we should use more bodily movements instead of tipping. With graphy it's easily possible. Is it achievable? Here with the canines, it's a lack of bone and we didn't do anything to them. So we'll keep them as they are. But here, let's see what we can do. Of course, I would suggest grinding the teeth when we finish. The treatment, we should grind the incised ledges, we call it counter, the countering. So I would suggest making some countering here, close to the final stage. Mm -hmm. But here we should reduce the tipping as well. With uh, traffic liners, I'm much more confident about the translational movements and rotational movements as well. So here we have to Put the root inside the bone lingually and from the vestibular side as well. Huh. It's uh, it's not that easy <laughs> with this one. And let's check do we need, if we need some other correction. I think I've already done some. OK, 
Okay. Let it be this way. And uh, the upper jaw, let's do something to it. I think I proclined the crowns too much. Let's delete the second layer. Reduce the tipping here. Maybe change it. No, not the bodily movement. Anyway, the occlusion is going to set up after we finish the treatment. But we should simplify it if we can. Yep, and now let's make the second layer again. And try to close the gaps. We can use both bodily retraction and crown tipping. We're going to combine it here. The patient didn't have the contacts between the canines, so we we do not worsen the situation, fortunately. We have a slight class two here. I think we'll try to Advance the mandibula here. By creating some sagittal gap. And hopefully the, the lower jaw will advance for like one millimeter will be enough for us. making some final adjustments. Okay, now fenestrations. And we can add some attachments. I don't need, we, I don't think we even need them. But in case if there is some troubling with the liner feet, we can add some attachments and decide if we need uh, to bond them or not later. It costs us nothing to add those virtual attachments and that's why I usually do it. Mm. Graphic liners, the retention is much better than the retention of the conventional liners because they're thicker. 
So I don't think we really need to bond these attachments to the patient teeth, but it's our overprotection. It costs us nothing. And don't forget to put the number somewhere. Did we rotate canines for some major degree? No, we, we did not. Just five, six degrees. Not much. Okay. And other step is also the other step is also interesting for us because there are some differences between uh, uh, transitional models uh, protocols for graphing the traditional liners. I have two configs here. Uh, the one designed for uh, conventional liners made of PTG or uh, polyurethane, uh, doesn't matter. And here is if I change my, if, if I choose my config uh, for conventional liners, uh, my master suggests me to use uh, seven liners here. But if I if I select the graphy one, um, the quantity reduces down to three liners for the first layer and two liners for the second layer. But mm, I think, yes, we can be that optimistic and use only five, five aligners instead of, I don't know, 15 or something. And with Graphy, we can control the roots inside the bone much better. So we don't get any recessions, illustrations. Not to put the roots outside of the bone. So here it suggests me two liners for the first layer and four liners for the second layer. And where is the limitation? Uh -huh. Limitation is an intrusion. Uh, because I don't intrude faster than with the regular liners. So this is our limitation. I set it for 0 0.2 maximum amount of intrusion here. If you are interested in my config, I'll show it to you. Uh, you can see the numbers. You can make a screenshot uh, of my uh, graphic config. So yes, let's keep it. Let's keep six liners. And uh, my personal preference is to um, make the same quantity for both uh, jaws. So I'll add one more liner for the upper one more liner for the upper jaw. Um, well, let it be the second layer. So three for the first one, three for the second one. I think it's gonna be fine. And the rest is going to be done in the direct liner designer software um, made uh, by Graphy. And we'll design the shape of the liner, build the supports, and prepare it for the 3D print. Uh, so we are making the setup in Maestro, then export the models. Um, like uh, with the conventional liners, we export in the STL models, and then we reduce the aligners uh, in another software. I'm gonna to record uh, the I'm going to record my work in the direct liner the direct aligner designer software as well. Probably not tomorrow, not today, but uh, it's coming soon as well. Thank you for watching. Ah, let's see the animation. Let's see how it works. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Okay. And for the lower arch. One, two, three. One, two, three. So here, as you can see, I, I make almost uh, bodily rotations around the long side of the incisors. 
because it works with graphy without any depths. That's why I love this material and I use it more and more in my practice. Thank you for watching. See you next time.